Welcome back guys, my name is Kobo Mine and this is a part 2 of creating a simple batch script. Um, if you haven't checked out my previous video on creating a simple batch script, please do so because in this video I'm going to talk about a post logon batch script. So basically if you're running a Windows server, this is how you're going to implement it, okay? So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and open up. This is our server level and if you remember this is the same uh, desktop area that we used to create our batch script. And just to kind of reiterate of what happened previously, we went ahead and created a batch script and placed it in a folder called a, in a root of C called a folder called a test folder, right? So let's just go ahead and open this up. And I went ahead and created a few um, shortcuts and placed it within the same folder. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a post logon batch script. What that means is I'm going to set it up so that when the user logs in, at any computer on the network using the net, um, domain credentials, it will basically place these icons onto their desktop. So no matter where they log in, it's going to automatically just do it for them uh, using the batch script. So just kind of go back real, uh, real quick and I'll show you what. I did a quick edit and made it slightly different from um, what I had in my uh, previous video just to kind of uh, accommodate of what we we're doing because a post logon uh, post logo batch script is slightly different okay and and look okay, here let's see here so the difference is um, I j just made it actually very simple it's it's really easy so it's still um, copy command and and then pointing to the test folder within a root of C but the difference is instead of having um, a specific path for the user's profile we're just going to put in a, a percentage sign uh, percentage sign and then type in user profile I'm just gonna highlight this real quick so it's quotation open quotation mark a percentage sign user profile and then percentage file percentage sign again uh, backslash desktop what that means it's basically uh, means that it will uh, pro uh, place these shortcuts that I've created here from this folder it's going to place it on any user login so whomever the user is Basically, this is what this means. So whether it's Kobuman1, like it was in my previous video, which is my login here, or John Doe profile, it will place it into their uh, profile. So wh whomever it may be, this is what it refers to, right? So it's any user that logs in, okay? So basically what it does, again, it's just going to copy these um, shortcuts onto the user's desktop so they have easy access to it, and it's going to do it automatically after they log on hence post logon batch script. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to our Active Directory real quick. Go ahead and open your Active Directory. And I'm, right now I'm logged in as Kobuman1. So that's my user login. So let's go ahead and, and make an adjustment. So um, this kind of refers back to my uh, Active Directory video that I've made in the past. So if you need more uh, reference about Active Directory, I'll go ahead and post a link right here as well. So if you want to check that out, you know, please do so. Um, so, okay, so here's my uh, profile in Active Directory for Kobuman1. This is my login ID here. So I'm just going to go ahead and double click it. So here we have our uh, user profile. So um, in here, we're just going to click on a fourth tab over under where it says profile, okay? So uh, in order to set up our post logon batch script, uh, we would have to type in the name uh, or the path of the, the location of the script that we've created. So under a logon script where it says right here, we're going to type in the location of our script. So it could be anywhere. It could be on a network somewhere. It could be, you know, pretty much anywhere. So in, in our case, it's just located in the root of C within this test folder that we created. Okay, so it's in the root of C. Let me just go back here real quick. In the test folder, here's our batch script. It's called new batch. So all we got to do is just specify this, um, specify that for our um, for our login here. So let's just go back here and we're just going to type in C colon, so it's test, uh, test folder, and then backslash and it's called new batch, right? And just to kind of double check that real quick, it's called new batch and it's called test folder. So that's our path for it, right? So from here we're just going to click apply and then OK. And now when uh, when this user, in this case Kobuman1, logs back in, it's going to automatically uh, place these icons onto their desktop. Now, just real quick, um, is the way it is set up right now, 
uh, this script will pause so it will stay visible for the user so if you don't want that to happen you're gonna have to remove the pause right so that way it just happens user doesn't even realize it that it happened and it's just, it's just gonna disappear but it's gonna go ahead and place these icons for them okay I'm gonna leave the pause in there just so you can you can see that it actually does happen so I'm just gonna go ahead and log off and then I'm gonna get back to you guys here uh, just a moment and then we can see it happen okay well that was pretty quick so I didn't have to pause the video or anything like that so let's go ahead and go back to our um, remote uh, or, or station in my case it's just a remote desktop um, location and I'm just gonna log in as you can see here it's Cobalman 1 and I'm just gonna click OK and just give it a moment here I'm just gonna move this a little bit here so you can see it happen it's gonna pop up and it's gonna place our icons see here's our best script and went ahead and placed our icons that we told it to right so that's pretty neat right guys so um, this is pretty cool so if your company has a predetermined script that they want to use for each user for the domain this is this is the way you would do it right this is one way of doing it but you know um, also you can have a desktop redirect for all users within a within a group that's another way of doing this uh, where it would redirect it'll basically do the same thing uh, but it's just done slightly different which I can certainly talk about in a different video but this is one way of uh, doing a post logon bad script for this specific user so if somebody creates a new user in Active Directory they can certainly do this you know if, if they want to be a you know a customized setting now just real quick uh, another way to uh, make sure that um, another way to uh, basically set up a workstation or a PC um, to automatically install these icons specific icons is to so um, this is basically at the local level doing the same thing we did is just going to do it automatically each time so you would have to go to a computer and go to the root of C go to users and then go to a default folder so this is a default folder for all the users that they'll log in so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these here well actually it's not gonna matter because it's already I already have a uh, uh, this only works for the users that log in for the first time on the computer so this is not gonna work for somebody who's already uh, been using this computer right so it's only a default um, location with files for the new user that never sat at that computer okay so once again you go to C root of C users default so this is the default location and go to desktop and from here you would just copy um, these icons so you copy all these icons in here you know and then next time any of the other users any of the other users log into this computer they will have all these icons set up the default and same thing if you go back to default same thing for documents which is uh, my documents if you will and the same thing for favorites links uh, everything else okay well there you have it guys I hope you liked this video and uh, feel free to check out if you're more if you're interested more in network administration um, feel free to check out more videos I, I can um, uh, certainly provide another link here if you're for the, for the playlist if you want to check that out and then I appreciate you watching share my videos with friends and family and I'll see you next time bye bye <laughs>